Good afternoon. We're so glad you're Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoyed. Saturday. <sighs> this vlog makes you come back every day. We're showcasing one of our favorite things, That's which our is Newton mattress. Yeah, this vlog is not sponsored by Newton. No, but we, we can wash it. our mattress. Yeah, so Sarah's gonna wash that in the washer. Zip fully closed prior to wash and dry. I'm gonna wash the mattress because it looks like a um, piece of a spaceship from the movie Alien. It you just wash it down, super easy. Soap and water in the tub, and then dry. Fancy, right? You can breathe through this thing. And the outside just goes straight in the washing machine by itself with cool water and detergent. Kind of an emotional moment right now. You see that right there? Our crib for Jamesy is now going to be. On the bottom, the lowest setting possible. It basically just stops the like grate here from resting on that nice wood finish. But you can't go any lower than that. We do have, um, this does come out, this wall here, and can get swapped out with like a toddler bed. So it's like half of a wall, like stops here, and then it drops down so he can get in and out while having a little bit of a guard. If he falls asleep on the day bed that we have out, like he will get out of that sometimes and go to the door, but he can't open the door. Also, because the door is an old Chicago door, it, like, you gotta give it a, you gotta give it some oomph to open it. Um, but yeah, our crib is reaching at the last stage of its, of its height life for James. Hey, you. You are not allowed to get any older. Oh! <gasps> so, Daddy, I'm not Peter Pan. Alrighty, so we are attempting something. We'll see how it goes. Um, we want to just get out of the house this morning, basically with like kind of very little plan because um, we just wanted to get out. We have a family party this evening, um, but like we've said a gazillion times, we really want to soak up the summer in the city. And so we are just headed downtown. Um, if you are aware, a little music festival is going on called Lollapalooza. And uh, where we're going is very close. We're gonna try to go to Maggie Daly Park. We've never been, we've never had success getting there, but it also happens to be next door to the festival. But it's early enough, our main concern will be finding a parking spot. So if that doesn't work out, there's so many other places that we can go. But that's why like our initial plan of like heading in that direction seems a little silly, um, but we're gonna try. And the parking gods, granted us a gift and we got a spot. We do have to pay, it's like meter parking. Our parking spot is right next to the park. Talk about lucky. luck in the past like working out this being open and us being over here so hopefully we, we aren't at the playground yet hopefully it's open but we are over by like the ribbon where you can ice skate in the winter and I guess you can skate and scooter in the summer so that's kind of cool. cool I think I can hear like sound check or something going on at Lala I can hear a bass yeah to know all of the different play areas. There's even like a little splash pad. There's a lighthouse. I know there's a pirate ship. Teddy is snoozing. And we're gonna eat a snack. This is so nice. Shady. 
Do you see the birdies? I love how each of these sections has a name. Like this is the Enchanted Forest for all ages. Look at that, it's like bridges and boats and slides. So, if this place doesn't open up, I'm nervous. I'm having flashbacks to the, the aquarium because I did see one of those birds that attacks you around. I found my friends. Hi. Whoa. There's more fountains there with this little creek. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, we found a whale. It's a big whale, Jamesy. Sarah just said as we're leaving one park to go to Millennium Park. It's one of her favorite views. The buildings feel so, like, I don't know, any face. We were talking about how we've been kind of sleeping on this whole Maggie Daly. We thought it was just like one section, didn't realize yeah. it was all of this. Mm -hmm. We have some really cool wedding photos I'm gonna throw in here with yeah. like that as like the backdrop. This makes, this, this feels like what I imagine like Central Park does to New Yorkers. Yeah. But just, it just doesn't smell here, so. <laughs> It's just green and like you you never know that this one of the here. biggest cities in the country is. And there's so You're much in shade. One of the cities. Yeah. All the shade and delicious looking and grass. And it is like so close to Lakeshore Drive. Like we always peek at it, but that was fun. When he's a little bit bigger, it'll be even more fun. Yeah. Check it out. So we have the Alpalooza right here, one of the entrances. But we Sarah pointed out that we saw the, the plows on the way in and we love how Chicago does this because we've got a million plows because it's Chicago. The, the city actually uses them as easy to maneuver and quick to set up barricades. Yeah. Safety, traffic, all that. Yeah. But yeah, I've never I've never even been this close to Lollapalooza before. Have we should go sometime. Even though I just said the other day I have Dashboard no desire. Dashboard confessional is today. But we're cursed. We will tell you why we're cursed for Dashboard confessional. Once we're uncursed and we go to the show. We've never seen them before. We will, we will. The ultimate fountain. Actually, I mean the ultimate fountain is Buckingham Fountain right over there. But this, this is, is a pretty good. Fountain. Yeah. Who knew? It's called the Crown Fountain. There they go. At nighttime, you can see faces on these. There's the giant screens. Here, they're, our, they're back on. Look better in person than on camera. Do you like it? Going to the jewel to get a dessert for the party. Going to the ATM to get some cash for birthdays. Hi, Evie. Are you mad I won't share my crackers with you? I'm sorry. Hi. You're awake now? <laughs> Okay, we're driving around Lakeshore Drive and all of a sudden there's just like literally tens of thousands of motorcycles. It's been going on for like a mile now. ATVs? What is this? It's still going. Still going. Also, minor detail, there's Lollapalooza. It's still going. Yeah, that was at the end of it. Golf carts, such a festival thing. I can feel the base. I love the big sign that say fence jumpers will be prosecuted. Here's the big stage. Oh, we're officially in the deep suburbs. Orland Park. Time to check 
out the family. Teddy's gonna meet some people he hasn't met yet, so that'll be exciting. Hello. We're just relaxing. Good. Is this like seat thing? Cool. It's sunny out. Showing Jamesy the, the suburb life. <laughs> We're out of the pool. Almost time for dessert. We're running free. It's weird having grass on both sides. We will get you a backyard one day, my friend. Happy birthday, dear Megan. I got a lot of water coming out of this right now. Oh gosh. On the ground. What is that, Jamesy? Is he that has, your mattress? He's literally never looked at this before. He was he did not see me do this earlier. Uh-huh. Do we need another day for this? Did he sleep on the big bed tonight? We weren't home to like make sure that the mattress situation got totally finished. But like when else would we have done this? I don't know. Evie does not like it. When you watch a Toy Story short that you haven't seen in weeks, and you want to show your brother it. Look at these brothers. They're big Buzz fans. Together. I actually think James is more of a Woody guy. <laughs> We're back home, and as our night quickly comes to an end, knowing that... Some of our dear friends will be in Disney World tomorrow. We're not. We're not doing well. We're not doing well knowing that we won't be there. It's good to be home. It's good to be, it's good to be home. It feels like Sunday, but it's Saturday and that's great. But on Sunday, some people will be in Disney World and other people won't. And we're the other people. <laughs> we're the other people. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>